An introduced or exotic species can often represent catastrophic problems for our natural ecosystems. I only have to say the words cane toad for you to know exactly what I mean. And European carp are no different. But the crew from Inland Fisheries here in Tasmania have been having some astounding success at eradicating them. Twelve years ago, Lakes Crescent and Sorrel in Tasmania's highland country enjoyed the reputation of being Australia's prime fisheries for trophy-sized brown trout. Then, in 1995, the dreaded European carp invaded. The common carp has wreaked havoc in mainland waterways, destroying freshwater plant and fish populations. They are hardy, able to survive extremes of temperature and low oxygen, and extremely fecund, with a large female producing a million eggs. After netting off the lake from the rivers, inland fisheries started hauling the carp out. Fishing was chosen as an eradication method because other options such as poisoning were environmentally uh, problematic because there's a small um, native fish, the golden galaxis, which is only found in these two lakes. It just happened that this unique fish uh, is only found in the same lakes the carp were found in. After years of taking out thousands of these fish, the inland fisheries team tried a new tack. Knowing every fish they got out could be replaced a million fold by the breeding females, they began catching males and fitting them with radio tracking devices before releasing them. Radio tracking male carp, or mature male carp, using a device like this, which is actually inserted into the fish in a, in a surgical procedure, has been a key technique to the success of this eradication project. And right now, we're having a look to see if we can find any of the last remaining transmitter fish. He was over the other side of the lake yesterday, so he's travelled probably 10 kilometres. And uh, it looks like he might be in that bike net. We've located one of the transmitter males in a net. This um, here is an aerial off the transmitter. So this particular uh, fish is a tracker fish, we call them. The uh, transmitter fish or the trackers uh, have been the key to most of uh, our eradication because they tell us what the other fish are doing. These tracker males are located every day. Paul and his team have been able to figure out where the carp go and when. And most importantly, the males lead them straight to the females during breeding season. And most of them are fished out before they get the chance to breed. After 12 long years, inland fisheries believe they've nearly captured all of the females. These nets are known as fike nets, which are traditionally used by eel fishermen, but have been very successful at capturing carp. So, Paul, with these two in here, what does that leave the population estimate at? Well, in Lake Sorrel, which has got more uh, carp than Lake Crescent, uh, we reckon there's less than 50 carp left, so these two fish should represent at least 4% of the population. The main thing is they'll build up numbers quickly. So, for instance, uh, we've caught 10,000 out of here in the last, since 1995, but if we hadn't fished at all, there'd probably be millions in here right now, and they would have, uh, with that, those sort of numbers, they would have taken all the food out of the food chain. And so two more males are recruited for the cause, and it's hoped the war will finally be won by winter. If there's one female out there which matures uh, late, from 2000, which means that it'd be seven years old now, then our tracker fish um, should lead us to that last female. And so if she is out there this summer, we'll catch her. And if she's not out there, well then we've eradicated all the carp in the lake, hopefully. For more information on the incredible work Tasmania's Inland Fisheries is doing, have a look at their website. This was another project helped by funding from the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation.